estimation of blood glucose by glucose oxidase method. Glucose is a major carbohydrate present in blood and is produced from dietary sources. The maintenance of blood glucose in our body is mainly controlled by hormones insulin and glucagon. A defect in insulin secretion, insulin action or both results initially an impaired glucose tolerance and cause hyperglycemia which further leads to diabetes mellitus. So a simple, rapid and economical method of determining the blood sugar level is obvious especially in the management of diabetes mellitus. The colorimetric method combined with an enzymatic reaction is most widely used for the determination of glucose in human syrup. Estimation of glucose by the enzyme glucose oxidase gives a true glucose concentration due to its high specificity and sensitivity. Glucose oxidase catalyzes the oxidation of beta D-glucose to d glucano delta lactone and hydrogen peroxide. It is highly specific for beta D-glucose and does not act on alpha D-glucose. Materials required Blood sample collected in an EDTA bottle Glucose oxidase reagent 2 Norman sodium hydroxide Sodium sulfate zinc sulfate reagent 200 mg of standard glucose solution Distilled water Test tubes Micropipettes Epintoff tube, 5 ml glass pipette and pipette pump. Procedure First transfer 900 microliter of sodium sulfate zinc sulfate solution to 1.5 ml microfuge tube which is labeled as test. Likewise transfer 50 microliter of 2 Norman sodium hydroxide and 50 microliter of blood sample into the same microfuge tube. Now centrifuge the sample at 3000 rpm for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes take out the centrifuge tube and transfer 500 microliter of supernatant carefully from the centrifuge tube to a test tube labeled as test. Next transfer 125 microliter of glucose standard solution to a test tube labeled as 50 mg per deciliter. Similarly, transfer 250 microliters of glucose standard to the second test tube labeled as 100 mg per deciliter. 375 microliter of glucose standard solution to the third test tube labeled as 150 mg per deciliter. 500 microliters of glucose standard solution to the fourth test tube which is labeled as 200 mg per deciliter. Now insert a fresh tip to the micropipette and transfer 500 microliter of distilled water to a test tube labeled as blank. In the same way add 375 microliters of distilled water to the first test tube, 250 microliter to the second tube and 125 microliters to the third tube. Now connect the glass pipette to the pipette pump and transfer 5 microliters of glucose oxidase reagent to all the test tubes. Cover the test tubes with aluminium foil and place them in the water bath at 37 degrees Celsius for 1 hour. After 1 hour, take out the test tubes from the water bath and transfer the blank solution to the cuvette. Insert the cuvette into the slot of the colorimeter and set the value to 0. Next, transfer 50 mg per deciliter solution in the first test tube to the cuvette. Insert the cuvette into the slot of the colorimeter and note the reading. After getting the reading, remove the cuvette from the slot. Similarly, note the reading of 100 mg per deciliter, 150 mg per deciliter, 200 mg per deciliter solutions and test solution and plot a graph by taking standard glucose concentration on x-axis and corresponding absorbance on y-axis. From this standard graph, the amount of glucose concentration in the test solution can be obtained. Applications 
Glucose oxidase has been used widely in the determination of free glucose in body fluids, food, agriculture products and baking industry. In some applications, it can be used to replace oxidants such as bromate and L-exorbic acid. Other uses of glucose oxidase include the removal of oxygen from food packaging and removal of D-glucose from egg white to prevent browning.